well, that's what I said. IHOP has really no business making pancakes, you know, especially my what hat, this hat. I always wear this hat. You've never seen it in any of the videos. That's weird. Steve Weiner from GetRubix.com, and today we're going to take a look at how to set up Windows Laps, the local administrator password solution for Windows devices that you are managing with Intune because it's part of Intune. You sure I've never worn it before? Okay, so let's get started. Um, first of all, just what is Laps? Why do we have it? Um, let me head over to a uh this is a client machine we have enrolled in intune um the user here is rick jones and uh, rick jones is not an admin right so if we want to elevate anything we need rights here um now here's the thing if rick's going to get help from someone and someone needs to get in they need to be able to enter in a a local admin and uh, local admin account and password here to get in, but we can't have everyone have this account. It's not secure. It's the same reason we would use laps and, you know, with, with traditionally managed devices. This is just a newer way to do it with Intune. So we need to be able to get in here. So what I really like to do is be able to type in an account called Rubix Admin and some cool password, but that's not working. So let's make that happen. Um, Okay, so what we want to do is we want to head over to uh, Intune, but even before Intune, we want to go to our Entry Portal, formerly Azure AD. Okay, we're going to go to Identity, Devices, All Devices, and Device Settings. Okay, take a look at this, all the way at the bottom, Local Administrator Settings. Enable Microsoft Entra Local Administrator Password Solution laps that's a mouthful you can read more about it here you can click here whatever we're gonna hit yes save we're done with intro back to intune all right so we got to do a few things first thing we got to do is go to windows configuration profiles and we're gonna have to create a profile for laps so we're gonna go windows 10 and we're gonna do settings catalog so we're gonna say m365 windows admin account and this will be for laps you can name it whatever you want what we are looking for when we hit add setting is local policies maybe yes local policy security options uh accounts enable administrator account status so if we take a look at this basically it determines whether the local admin is enabled or disabled um so Obviously, we need to enable this in order to use a uh, lap. So I'm going to go ahead and enable it. Um, well, that adds the setting to this policy, and we're going to go ahead and enable it. We're going to hit next, and I'm going to recommend this goes to all devices. If for some reason you have different laps policies that end up going to different personas, uh, I mean, then we can assign it to a group tag. I uh, definitely want to assign it to a device group, though. And there it is. This is actually a cool new thing. Intune will highlight when you have a new policy here, so you can find it a little easier. Just these little things that make it that make it nice for us. Great. Okay, next thing we want to do is we want to go to our endpoint security and our account protection section. We're going to be getting into a lot more um, endpoint security topics as we go through. Um, what is this here? This is some old policy. I think I might create it by accident. Anyway, that is not what we need. We need to create the policy. Windows 10, and there it is, Windows Laps. All right, let's get into it. We're gonna say this is our Windows Laps policy. I mean, really know what else we would name it. All right, so <clears throat> these are the options we're gonna configure, and we're gonna walk through each one and talk about what they mean. So backup directory. Where is the password being backed up? Are we backing it up to Active Directory? No, we're backing it up to Azure AD. Oh, they didn't say enter, they forgot. We can disable this so the password is not backed up at all, but we don't wanna do that. Um, and this essentially will uh, talk about it in a little more detail. Again, if you're curious and you wanna get into the weeds of how this works, if you do have hybrid devices, um, you can kinda of go through and see the specifics, but we're gonna choose Azure AD. 
uh, the password age in days, right? So basically what this does is um, it, it's how long you can leave the, the setting there, right? Um, that'll stay when backing up. Okay, password age in days. I'm gonna leave that on the default 30. Um, account, administrator account name. I wanna go ahead and add the name. If not, it uses a default, like a built-in one. We're gonna say Rubik's admin. The complexity. Obviously, this is gonna be up to your organization. I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna go for broke. I'm gonna say large letters, small letters, numbers, and special characters. I like the way it doesn't say uppercase and lowercase. It says large and small. That's kind of funny. Password length, wow, 14. I'm gonna do eight because I'm lazy, but you can do what you want. Okay, post authentication actions. This is what makes laps lap. So what happens after we authenticate? Okay, so we can reset the password, right? Um, so we can set essentially uh, the expiration of a grace period after that it gets reset. We can reset and log off the managed account. Um, we can reset the password and reboot, okay? Um, so basically, what, what do you wanna happen? We're just gonna keep it at the reset password. Um, this way it's a one and done thing, right? Post authentication reset delay. So this will specify the amount of time, right? Between logging in as the admin account and what happens with the, um, when it does the post action. Um, so we're going to leave this on the default 24 hours, um, and that's fine. We can do that. You could change this obviously if you want to, but we're just going to leave these on default and, and every organization, this isn't very standard. Every organization is going to have their own best practices and the way they want to do things if they're more stringent or not. So that's fine there. I'm going to add this to all devices. Okay. Policy created should be assigned. All right, so let's sync our client device. Um, I always get asked a good way to sync um, while we're on this subject, like how do you force a sync from an endpoint? You can do one of two things. I go into accounts, access work school, click on the account info and sync. I guess that's a few too many clicks or you can launch your company portal and you can force a sync from there. So settings, sync. Yeah, I guess that's quicker, company portal. Okay, so the easiest way you can tell is on the client machine. Um, let's just do reg edit, get that registry open. So we're gonna go HK local machine, software, um, Microsoft policies. And this should show us if the policy was applied. Why is it taking me so long to get there? There we go. Laps. Okay, we can see it right there. So let's take a look and expand this. This is all of our settings. So that applied very quickly. This is everything we have here from um, the Intune profile, the backup directory, and these values all correlate to uh, the settings we chose. All right, so now that we made sure the policy is applied and we looked at the registry, we can go back and let's try to get the password. So I'm gonna head back to Intune and we're gonna go to uh, there's a few ways you can retrieve the password. You can retrieve it, devices, windows, and let's go look that device up, 3798. There it is. So we should be able to come down here, click on local admin password and no local administrator passwords found. Um, okay, well, Maybe it's just not there yet. Let's go to Entra and we'll go to devices, all devices, device settings. There we go. Local administrator password recovery. So it's the other place you can find the keys. So we click here and not there either. But we saw it in the registry. If I go back to Intune and go to the policy, it should be checking in. Windows laps. Great, seven devices, everything is successful. So what is the problem? Here's the problem. This is a very common thing uh, for setting up laps and people forget if you don't use the default, um, the default admin account and you set the name, 
you're not creating an account you're just setting the account um so this will trip a lot of folks up myself included um so we're going to go ahead and create that now so i want to elevate right here using the laps i'm gonna go to i'm gonna go to the device and let's say we want the 3798 i can just go to local admin password and i can see i have a local admin password so i show that i can hit show you can clearly see what it is i'm going to copy that to a clipboard there's no way i'm going to remember that nonsense and here we go let's give it a shot so in this case we're using administrator because i forgot to assign the account capital t plus x plus two and we just elevated as admin, right? We can try it with PowerShell as well. We could even log into the device with that. Actually, let's try that real quick. So let's log out. Let's actually switch user, other user, administrator, P plus X colon S two L. And that's going to get me into the machine as the local admin. Um, if I want to see all my passwords in one place, I can just head to the entry portal, go to all devices, local admin password recovery, and then I can see them for all my devices right in here. It took a long time for Microsoft to bring laps to an Azure AD joint or enter joint into a managed PC. It was a traditional Active Directory product for Windows only. So really easy to set up. Um, I didn't go back and uh, refilm the whole thing. I wanted to leave the mistake in because I think that's a common thing. I, I want this to be very real. When we're setting these things up, we make mistakes, even if we've done it a million times. And you hit that point where it's like, what step did I forget? So in this case, um, we were setting our policy to an admin that wasn't there. But now we know for the future, and that just gives us a little bit of troubleshooting as well in there. So um, fairly straightforward to get going as long as uh, you don't miss having that local admin account. Till next time. One, two.